everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. Obviously you already know what this video is about because you clicked on it, but I have been seeing the Chloe Ting two week shred challenge literally all over my YouTube suggested page and in my subscription box. Like everybody is trying it and talking about it. So I thought that I would put it to the test and try it myself. I also just want to throw it out there that I know this challenge is for beginners, if you will, and I I would consider myself in pretty good shape. I do work out very regularly, but I still wanted to try it out and see how the workouts were because I thought this would be a good challenge for me um, and just kind of see if I get any results because some of these transformations are absolutely insane. So everybody has a different figure. Of course, the results are going to vary person to person, but I just thought this would be a fun little challenge and... Uh, bring you guys along to see how it goes. If you guys have also tried this challenge, let me know down below because I'm interested to see who's done it and how it worked for you. But without further ado, let's hop into this two week shred challenge. So here are the before shots. I would consider myself pretty toned, um, but yeah, this is what I look like. My waist is measuring at 26 and a quarter and my hips at 34 and a half. And at this moment, I weighed 115.6 pounds. Day one, let's get it. So the first day for me wasn't too bad because it was only two videos, which only took about 23 minutes, I want to say. Um, so it wasn't bad at all, but I absolutely hate burpees. So that was something that I had to adjust to, especially if I was gonna last 14 more days. But overall, the first day wasn't too bad for me. It definitely had me working up a sweat, but I was able to get through it. For the most part, um, I did take a few breaks here and there, but it was a success the first day. So day one is complete. It was actually a lot harder than I expected and I thought I was in pretty good shape, but maybe not. I was literally dripping sweat the entire time, but I like that it was only like 25 minutes because I get distracted easily when I'm working out. So yeah, I don't think I'll be sore for tomorrow, but I'm definitely pretty tired right now. So I'm gonna take a shower and I will see you for day two. It is day two of the Chloe Tang challenge and I'm not feeling all too motivated today for a few reasons. One of them being I woke up with a major headache. Regardless, we're gonna smash this workout so day two was almost exactly the same as day one, but there was an optional ab workout, which I decided to do just to amp it up a little bit. I was just as sweaty as day one. Um, I definitely got a good workout in, but I was not sore from the day before, which is really good. It's been hard, you know I wanted to stay close of God, but there was no other way Did you Day two is complete. Um, I'm actually feeling really great and I did the optional ab workout so pushed myself a little extra today um, but I'm really gross again so. It's freaking day three. I look like a boy but let's get it. So day three added in a lower body workout which for me wasn't an issue at all because I love working out my legs as opposed to my upper body. Um, so I definitely was exhausted after this workout, but 
the good news is by the end of this workout, I already felt my body getting stronger while doing the exercises. And I already felt my endurance was better than the first day. But there was no other way that you ain't Cause I've been counting the days And I'm calling up to say I'm coming home to you I'm coming home to you I literally, I am dripping Look at that, nasty I know I've only done it for three days But I already feel my body getting stronger And my endurance improving, which is wonderful as much as I hate doing upper body I really need to do it because I'm so weak and so day four was a good challenge for me especially this exercise I literally had no clue what was going on as you could see by my face but my upper body looks pretty built but I can assure you it is not so I actually enjoyed doing arms and core this day because this was the first day we did any arms this is a super weird angle but day four is complete i'm feeling great i actually wasn't even that tired at all today which i would say is an improvement the one thing i will say though that i'm already realizing is that these workouts are extremely repetitive, which is totally fine, but I just get bored of doing the same thing over and over, so yeah. But that's, other than that, like, we're loving it. Just finished day six, feeling great, super sweaty, but yeah. So day eight was the first day that I started to get sick of certain exercises just because every day is a little bit different but you alternate the same videos so it can be a little bit repetitive. Um, however, I pushed through and I knew that we were already halfway there. So. Day eight is complete and I have rug burns on both my elbows.
By day 12, I felt stronger than ever. My endurance was amazing. I found myself getting through the entire workout without stopping once. And I wasn't extremely winded. It was more just, you know, being overheated and sweaty. I don't know what happened to day 13's footage, but it's not here, so I'm really sorry I suck. But here's day 14, the final day. It is day 14 of the Chloe Ting Challenge, the final day, and I decided to bring the workout outside because it's a beautiful morning. This last workout is four different workouts, so it's about 45 minutes, and then I'm done. So here are the after shots. I definitely, at least in myself, can notice a big difference. My stomach looks way more toned and you can see those like outside oblique lines. I'm just really, really happy with how I feel most importantly. And I didn't realize how much of a difference there was until I actually filmed it on the camera. So my waist is 25 and a half and my hips are the same 34 and a half. And here they are side by side. This is when I noticed the biggest difference was comparing them to each other. I also lost about three pounds. So I started at 115.6 and ended at 112.4. Here we are two weeks later, same spot. Really have come full circle. And we have completed the Chloe Ting two week shred. And I feel very, very accomplished, if I'm being honest. Like I said at the very beginning of the challenge, I'm a pretty physically fit person. I work out like five to six times a week. So I am very active and I know that it's catered more towards beginners. But again, I just wanted to see how it would work for me and if I would see any results. So I actually did lose like three pounds during this challenge, which was crazy to me. As far as like my measurements, it didn't really go down much. My waist went down, I want to say one inch roughly. Um, I saw no difference in my thighs or my arms, but overall my body does feel a lot stronger, especially my upper body because it may look like I have a strong upper body, but I do not. Some of those push-up exercises and the arm workouts were kind of challenging for me, uh, especially the up-down from the plank. That was like killer, but I will say like my upper body feels so much stronger. I do definitely see more tone and definition in my core, uh, and it's definitely more of like an hourglass type of figure. It's only been two weeks, so you don't see too much of a difference, and you might not even see it, but when I look at myself every day in the mirror, like I, I notice a difference. It was a lot harder than I expected. I thought it would be like a piece of cake, but I wanna say about halfway through the challenge, I started to get a little bit bored, because it was just very repetitive. And I like to switch it up. So I was getting kind of bored with doing the same exercises over and over and over again. But it was really nice to have a little schedule to follow because sometimes I get in like ruts as far as working out. And if you have a program to follow, it holds you accountable. And it definitely held me accountable to work out every single morning and do the videos, like complete all of the videos. But, I really hope you guys enjoyed this journey. I had a lot of fun doing this challenge and filming it. Again, if you guys have done this challenge as well, 
let me know down below because I would be so interested to see how it worked for you. And also, if you're not already, please consider subscribing to my channel. It would mean the absolute world to me. And I value every single one of my subscribers so, so much. But if you've made it to the end of this video, I love you guys so much. Thank you again for watching, and I will just see you in my next one. Bye, guys.